Hi everybody, it is Monday, made it through the first day back at work, um, really tired this evening, it's going to feel like a really long week this week. Um, just Tony and I eating at home tonight, Caleb's had dinner today, um, and so we've got some gammon steaks, which have just been um, grilled off. I've got a baked sweet potato, and then I've got broccoli, carrots, some green beans and red cabbage, which have all been steamed. And then I've got just a little bit of the cheese sauce that you make from granules. I think I've put it away, but this is the Bisto granules, light gravy granules, but it's a cheese sauce. I usually keep some in the cupboard just to, if you just fancy a little bit of cheesy sauce. And I just, I didn't want to put cheese on the sweet potato, but I just fancied something um, with the gammon and the vegetables. Um, so I've made up some cheese sauce and we've just got that instead of gravy really with it as something different but off to enjoy this and then probably an early night for this first Monday first full well it's the first Monday of January but first Monday of the first kind of full week back to normal hi everybody so it's Tuesday evening and tonight we've got simple kind of Chinese style supper so this is chicken and black bean sauce stir fry so under there I've got some of the Uncle Ben's Chinese style rice I can find it in the bottom of my bowl there and then this is just some chicken breast chopped up and sauteed in the pan I added a package of stir-fry vegetables and some additional chopped mushrooms and then two sachets of the Tesco's own brand black bean sauce for stir-fry so we've got that um, for dinner tonight and then I've also got these little spring rolls, which you can see I've taken a bite out at the end of mine, um, which were from the Tesco's fresh kind of Asian food. They have a section at our Tesco's where the kind of pots of Chinese style food have numbers on, like you would find a Chinese takeaway. And these were the spring rolls from that section. So off to enjoy this Tuesday night Chinese food feast. Hi everybody, so it is Wednesday evening, Caleb's had his first football training of the year after Christmas this evening, so he wore his new kit, he was very proud of himself, um, but he's gone off to bed. And Tony and I are just about to enjoy a sausage supper, so these are the um, mussel food lean sausages, which I just cooked and I've cooked up a little bit of onion because I love to have onions with sausage. Got baked potatoes with a little bit of low fat cheese some salad, I've got some beetroot there with mine and a little bit of coleslaw as well. So that's my Wednesday evening sausage supper. Hi everybody, so it is Thursday evening. I've been to weigh in tonight. I gained half a pound this week, which I'm okay with because I was really surprised with my loss last week after eating like a mad person over Christmas and New Year. Um, so I think it's just sort of evened itself out. Sometimes that happens with weight loss and the way your body cycles through things um i haven't been drinking as much water this week so i know i need to up that um so i was okay with a half a pound gain i mean it's not really anything is it so i can soon sort that out hopefully next week so tonight we've got a chili pasta bake so this is um, 500 grams of pasta which we've used the fusilli i just cooked that in um, boiling water as usual and then i made a meat sauce with some mince loads of vegetables this has got onions, courgettes, mushrooms, peppers, carrots, garlic, a chopped up chilli, then it's got a, two cans of chopped tomatoes, some um, about 200 mils of beef stock, um, tomato puree, Worcestershire sauce, Italian herbs, chilli powder, um, I think that might be it and I made a meat sauce and just let it all cook together for about 15-20 minutes while the pasta was cooking, then combined everything together, put some grated cheese over the top, I popped it in the oven for 15 minutes just to melt the cheese. You can see the melty cheese in the top of the pasta there. So really looking forward to this. It's got oodles of vegetables in it. So really have the, oh, it's got a can of kidney beans in it as well as it's a chili pasta bake. But this is one of those recipes that you can vary and put whatever meat and vegetables you want in with the pasta um and throw it together in no time whatever flavorings i often make this like cajun flavored one you can do regular italian you can do the chili you could do fajita seasoning if you use chicken and um like sliced peppers mushrooms and onions that would be a good one with fajita seasoning um so yeah you can really vary this all you really need is your base meat either chopped up chicken or mince or do it vegetarian if you're if you're following a vegetarian diet 
um, and then loads of vegetables so whatever vegetables you've got really to put in and then chopped tomatoes or passata um, whatever seasonings you want and really that combination mix it with some cooked pasta put cheese on the top pop it in the oven for 10 minutes and you've got a delicious filling I mean Tony was saying as I put this together all oh, those leftovers for lunch for tomorrow um, so yeah looking forward to getting tucked into this tonight because um, it really is healthy but really filling as well which for me when you're trying to lose weight that's the important thing to stay full because you should never feel hungry and if you're eating the right foods you don't um, and I find this combination of a carb like a pasta um, with loads of vegetables really helps me to stay full so yep we're off to enjoy this and we'll see you tomorrow hi everybody so it's Friday night I made it through that first week back at work thankfully we've got a busy weekend we've got football tomorrow morning rugby Sunday morning both matches so be up and about quite early but tonight we're having a variation on a fish and chip supper so Caleb always has fish and chips at school on a Friday and I didn't think about that when I was planning the menu today so he didn't want we're having fish cakes he didn't want that so he's got some chicken nuggets and a couple of little pieces of scampi with some skin on active fryer chips and some sweet corn and a little bit of ketchup and then there's my fish cake with fries. Now, I was going to have salad with mine, but I just don't feel like having salad. So I've got baked beans, so no kind of vegetables on there. But I have had, today I had blackberries and raspberries with my breakfast. I had a banana and two satsumas as snacks throughout the day. And then I had some leftover of the chilli pasta from last night's dinner, which had oodles of vegetables in it, lots and lots of vegetables. So I've had plenty of vegetables today. But I haven't got any on my dinner plate. But it's Friday night. It's been a long week. And um, I'll just work with what I've, what I've got here, which is the baked beans. So off to enjoy our Friday night fish supper. Hi, everybody. So it's Saturday evening and we're just about to have tea. So Caleb has got a chicken, a breaded chicken um, steak, um, some broccoli, carrots and some cheesy mash with ketchup and then I've got some vegetarian sausages with broccoli and carrots and then I did a, a tray of kind of Mediterranean style vegetables so there's peppers, uh, sweet potato, onion, mushrooms, um, some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper and some mixed herbs. So that's mine and that is Caleb's. <coughs> Hi everybody, so it is Sunday evening and we've got a roast dinner. We've got roast pork again this week. This is another one of those just little basted pork loin joints from Tesco. Um, so when any of the grocery stores have like a sale on um, roasting joints, I will buy a big pork loin and chop it up into two or three pieces and put it in the freezer. But these ones are just the perfect size. There's not really any leftovers, so it just makes in, it's just enough meat for the three of us. So, and it's really lean um, pork, it only has a tiny layer of fat on it, so perfect for, for us for a Sunday roast. So we've got pork, we've got carrots, broccoli and cauliflower, we've got roasties done in the active fryer, so that's Caleb's. And then this is mine, I've also got some parsnips, I've got some apple sauce and I made up a little bit of cheese sauce to put over the cauliflower as I just fancied that this evening. And that's the cheese sauce that you make from the granules. So just a quick and simple, while I was making the gravy, I made that as well. So that's our Sunday night roast dinner. Brings to the end, to an end, another week of meals here on the seesaw. So we thank you for joining us this week and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.